Hi, I'm Dan from Eightfold Property, and in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about guarantors. So once you decide on the property that you need, you're going to have to be financially checked to make sure you're viable and that you can afford the rent moving forwards. Now this isn't always possible. If you're on a, let's say, a first level job, you're a student, or you're getting help from the government, it's not always going to be possible for this to stack up correctly. And if so, then we're going to ask for a guarantor to step in and sign a separate contract, which means that if you do fall on hard times or if anything happens to you, then that we, can, uh, we have another separate level of security that the landlord's going to get the rent. Now this person will also need to be financially checked and they will have to hit certain thresholds uh, but we usually have a system in place which will put them through this credit referencing so then they'll have to sign a separate contract which means that if you do default on the rent that they will stand in and they will pay the rent for you. Specifically for HMOs and, and student housing if there's six of you in there then we will need a separate guarantor for each of you and each person will need to be financially checked as well. Little side note it's always better to ask this person to be your guarantor before we get in contact with them. One of the main things that knocks out any sort of financial check-in for either a tenant or a guarantor is to have CCJs against you. So if you're gonna put someone forward to be your guarantor, it's worthwhile having that conversation with them and making sure that their credit referencing is gonna come back clean as well. Just to recap that, if you're not going to be financially viable to take on any property, you're going to need a guarantor. And this guarantor is going to have to be happy to sign and pay the rent should you default in the future. If you have any questions on the responsibilities of a guarantor or when you might need a guarantor, then do give us a call at Eightfold Property and we'll be happy to discuss this for you. My name is Dan, Eightfold Property. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.